CO2 Nerf darts. You think these things would go together like peanut butter and jelly, but at the moment, there has been a company that has tried, and that's Umarex. And they're a company that I have covered actually a couple of times on the channel so far. I They shot really hard. They did come out with some official Nerfy style blasters in the form of the Op 4, which I believe that was the designation gave to single shot front loading pistols that shot full length darts that use CO2. And they shot like 80 FPS. And honestly, they were not very good. But they did come out with a rifle, a pump action one. I didn't do a video on it. It was the Op 6. I, I don't remember it being really all that spectacular. Most people forgot it existed, but they have not given up. <laughs> Wrecked has a new blaster, CO2 powered in Nerf. The Wrecked Jury, a short dart removable rotating cylinder, double action or single action revolver that is CO2 powered. Brought to us by the ever lovable Luchathor who purchased both of these because you have been more excited for these than probably anybody else out there to the point where you actually emailed the company not once but twice yeah. and they still just released it out of the nowhere. Yeah. And Th got thanks. them. Thanks. Darts go farther and faster. CO2 powered foam dart launcher. CO2 powered pop. The back shows us there's a removable rotating dart cylinder. Realistic hammer action. CO2 powered. Don't forget. And an on off safety. This comes in at $50 for um, one blaster with a cylinder already in it, one spare cylinder, and some short darts that you are probably never going to want to use because they're obviously just your standard cheap full length darts cut down to be shorter. That is kind of a high price tag, I feel. What about you? Uh, I agree. The build quality seems pr like there, but yeah, 50, um, 50 bucks is kind of high. For what you're getting, I mean, that is something that should be mentioned is that it looks really freaking good. It feels super solid in the hand, but well, it's also CO2 powered. So good luck using this at any kind of public war. Yeah, that ain't happening. So as cool as this would be for like HVZ and stuff like that, some places these are literally considered weapons. So I know people are gonna laugh about that in the comment section and whatnot. It's still a thing. You can't really discharge a paintball marker in public. That is a bad thing almost everywhere. These are, while they shoot foam darts, pretty much still paintball markers. Yeah, the cylinders have metal on the back for the rotation mech, metal for the pin that holds it in place. The hammer, is that metal? It feels like metal. Mm -hmm. The trigger feels like metal and it works exactly like the, that's the weird part. That's the thing that kind of catches me off guard. It works exactly like the revolver that I said I wanted to convert to do exactly what this thing does. Yeah. You pull back this little latch right here which lets you remove the cylinder. And then the workings and everything look very similar, but it is noticeably different in the fact that this uses a hammer and it theoretically actually uses the hammer. There's a, I don't know, button or something that the hammer actually physically slaps that gives off a jet of air, which then propels the dart out of the cylinder into the barrel. And the barrel itself does actually seal against the cylinder, although it's freaking plastic. Yeah, it's plastic and uh, it's spring loaded too, which is odd. Yeah, it doesn't say anywhere. It just says includes one foam dart launcher, one extra magazine, and 12 half-length foam darts. So loading, it's pretty simple. Put the cylinder in, and there is a gate over on the side of it to where you can, in fact, load it without removing the cylinder, which is a nice option to have. This is also single or double action. So if I pull the trigger, you can see the hammer move and spring back. It's a pretty hefty trigger pull. You, you can't accidentally fire this. There's... No way, you have to, there's a little bit of a take up, but it, you have to deliberately fire this blaster. But of course you can also pull the hammer back and if you wanna reduce that trigger pull to virtually nothing and have a really accurate shot, you can in fact do that. And unlike a hammer shot, this feels amazing. The grip is really comfortable. The hammer has texture at the top of it, which like, this is really good. And yeah, no flywheels, no springs. It is entirely CO2 powered. And the way you get to that is uh, pry off the side of the handle right here. The thing literally comes apart in two. And the best part, this is really smartly designed, wrecked, is the tool to tighten down the cartridge 
is located in the side of the grip. It acts like a wrench. Absolutely brilliant move. But of course, CO2 powered, not gonna be able to use this at a public war. You're not going to be able to use this in a major HVZ event. And that sucks because this would be a very nice option for a sidearm. And we're talking CO2 powered. So what does that mean? Uh, consumables. <laughs> That's a brilliant way of putting it. You do have to buy cylinders and you can't really store a pressurized cylinder in the blaster. And we will test to see how many shots you can get off one cylinder and you can do the math yourself. I'm not saying this won't be an exceptionally fun blaster, but there are obvious caveats to this that we just mentioned. Of course, if the blaster sucks, then the blaster sucks. We actually don't know that yet. So behold, official Umarex branded 12 gram CO2 cartridges. I probably should have mentioned 12 gram CO2 only. Now this is always the part that makes me get a little bit of heebie-jeebies because uh, I've had these things do all sorts of weird stuff in the past and apparently you have as well. We're gonna unscrew the tightening thing, pop a cartridge in there, nozzle first, start tightening it down, put the safety on just before we do this, disengage the safety and loud pop. And that's how this blaster is gonna sound. Every single time you pull the trigger, you're gonna get a very loud pop. One thing I wanna mention is that you can uh, fan the hammer, but uh, the trigger is what actually advances the cylinder. So while you do, not it, it don't stand. Yeah, that don't work. Yeah. <laughs> and to safely remove the excess air out of the thing, because let's face it, this cartridge is essentially dead at this point, we're gonna pull the trigger and hold the hammer the entire time until it kind of clicks into place, but then, we could just push the hammer forward and empty the air out of the cylinder. And now the thing is completely inert when we can safely pop off our grip here. All right, well, you know where this is going. Chronograph, accuracy test. This should be really fun. I'm actually really excited for this one because uh, it's not every day you get a revolver that functions pretty much like an actual revolver. Flywheels are close, but this is a heck of a lot smaller and a heck of a lot more fun. All right, we're using the uh, cut down darts that the thing came with, and these heads are solid rubber. They, uh, you would not want to be hit by these in any sense of the imagination, but we'll see what the performance is with a fresh cylinder with these darts. One oh two, one oh four. 110, do single action now, 92, 83, let's do double action again, 86, no, they were just, just that bad apparently, uh, that wasn't good performance. So this time we're going to be using Old Faithful Adventure Force Pro Darts, 102, 105, 104. 91, 86, 96. Does that seem a little low to you? That one was hitting higher. Let's experiment with that. Yeah, pass, 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 pass that thing over here. Now we do the red one and there's only a couple of shots off the cylinder. Jose, if you please. Yes, sir. 128, 111, 117, 114, 112, 111. I feel like it's hitting the wall harder than that. Let's do one more cylinder. It's see if you can shoot farther away. See if this, this, the CO2 or something, the gas is doing something. It's just, I doubt it means anything, but. Okay. 91, 125, 93, 119. 112, 112, 113, empty. Hmm, why is, is the red one spicier? Or maybe it's the CO2? I, you were using different CO2, huh? Yeah. Should we try one more go, six shots, but with a fresh crossman cylinder? <sighs> Checking. Okay, whoa. That sounds harder or broken. I can't tell. 177? 
141, 147, 148, I, I backed off, 137, 106, and this one's empty. Switching to the blue one with a fresh Crossman cylinder that Jose had. I'm not sure if it was the same exact box or not that I got, but, uh, 89, 117, 111, 105, 77, 100, and I'm pretty sure we're out. Uh, not very consistent. Yeah, the red one's spicier. And that was really spicy. I I, I don't know if the, I, it could have been a reading error because there was a lot of gas blown out of that, but uh, mm. that was way spicier. Mm. That's actually really good. 150 is not bad. I, <clears throat> ooh. All right, I'm gonna do the red one. I don't even really want to do the blue one. Red one seems spicier. All Adventure Force Pro Darts. <sighs> I like pistols, so I should be able to do this, but um, I'm a little worried. How are the sights, do you know? They're okay. <laughs> Safety. Wow. I really only had that one huge, horrible outlier. Yeah. Wow. Let's have a competition. Okay, that one was really bad. I shouldn't be flinching or anything. It's just, it's a heavy trigger pull. So, let's see if that gets better if I single shot it or single action it. was that um it, one thing i noticed so far after playing around with them for a while is some shots either fly perfectly straight or some fly low and to the right so you're saying it might not be entirely my fault it could be the blaster yeah because i was playing with it quite a bit and i was like noticing that like hmm so well you have more experience so we'll give you four cylinders and see how you do uh i'll do this we'll do two double action two semi or single action um because i had that first cylinder besides the one outlier was like a super good grouping and now it's uh it's not looking good for me well i it's not a great grouping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the pistols are hard to aim with. All right, tag, your turn. Four cylinders, start with the first two double action and then finish off with your single action shots. All right, sounds good. Let's see. You should smoke me, you have way more experience. <laughs> Let's see. You started off with single action. Oh. Freaking cheer. Sorry, the first thing you said. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right. You have one more, right? Six. Ah, ah I can't count. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Ooh, what the? You can't count either, apparently. I, I didn't count the last one. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know who had the worst group or the, uh, the worst spread. But yeah, not try to make up with it. You want a retrial? No, I'm trying to figure out. Was that six? No, nope, five. Dang it! I could have told you that. that was a good Actually, try. I could cheat because if you look at the target, it says 18 shots now. 
So that 24 shots. You <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last cylinder. Open and skip there. What okay, the? Okay, no, there's... Mine never did that. Yeah. I could skip one. Yeah. But... It could have been, like... Not the greatest darts, I feel. But honestly, even if you like, I'm not really trying to be a competition, the groups were about the same. Yeah. They were both pretty difficult to manage. Yeah, because, but you, you did notice, like, some flew perfect, some were like, nope. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I mean, you still reasonably put shots on target, so. It definitely wasn't all that perfect, though. Yeah. So I guess we should probably mention, you bought these online from Rex's actual store. Yes. There's nowhere else you can buy them at the moment, right? It's weird. So there's been listings on both Valken's website and also Amazon. But... That's right. Because like last year, I pre-ordered them on Amazon thinking that I would get them the second they came out and they never they canceled my orders. Yeah. So Vulcan will also sell them. And we should probably mention, although I, I guess we just are jerks and won't actually show it. It will use... 50 caliber foam balls, obviously. There is a small hiccup that makes me less excited to use them in this blaster. And that's the fact that it has some kind of dart post because it has these actual indentations that a locking lug kind of goes into when the hammer goes back to prevent the uh, turret from being misaligned. You can't get rid of. And that means that unfortunately you can only fit two 50 caliber foam paintballs that we love. And you can't really get an effective shotgun with two shots. You can, and it does work, and they fly pretty far, but it's only two little projectiles. Still good. Mm. Arguably, maybe more accurate than what we were getting in the testing, but it's not the executioners from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Yeah, it's, it's more of an echo. <laughs> I do have concerns with the fact that one of them seems to be noticeably weaker than the other, it even makes a different sound when you shoot it. Yeah. So that's a little disappointing. I will say the overall build quality seems exceptionally high. All the parts that need to be metal are metal. Everything feels good. I feel like you could drop this blaster and probably just put a little dent in it. I don't think it would shatter or break. There is some debate. I mean, even though it has uh, kind of the silhouette of Deckard's gun from Blade Runner, this could technically just because, and I, the people are gonna complain and like call me whatever, they, they think that everybody knows about as much as firearms as them. And those are not the people I'm worried about calling the police on me. If I had one of these out in public, I'd be worried about the people who don't know what firearms are to think this is a firearm and call the police. And the smaller they get, the harder it is for those people to see the details that you or I would see, which is why I constantly talk about things looking like a firearm, which is why I like orange barrels on everything. Cause looking at it from the side, it's very easy to say, hey, yeah, that's there's no way that's a firearm. But when the blaster, if you're looking at it from this direction, even with that orange tip, which I'm glad the orange tip is deep and it also covers the actual barrel and everything on mm -hmm. it, it's kind of easy, especially if you're standing behind that person and seeing this still from this angle, it could be considered a firearm. I'm not saying it is, and even then, it's almost an entirely closed field blaster anyway. So 50 bucks a piece, it's definitely the best wrecked product we've gotten thus oh, far. Yeah. And I really hope they keep trying. Oh. And I'm, I'm honestly still tempted to pick one up. Although I think at this point, I'll wait for a little bit of a sale. I think they're rad. I think they're definitely a step in the right direction. Thank God they use short darts. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. But uh, they aren't, they're not quite perfect just yet. And I really hope I see more of what wrecked can do. But if you wanted something like this, or if you just wanted a safer alternative to get your kid other than like a pellet gun or something like that, this is a pretty darn good offering. Breaking news here. The Wreck Jury has an AR in it. You can't freaking see it. I've already taken out of this blue one, but in this one, there's three little nubs in there. You can't see them. Look at that. That's, a, that's the AR. See, all your CO2 would come out of that little pinhole. So this is useless now. These have the smallest screws known to man. I had to use a Joy-Con screwdriver for this. So if you carefully lift all this out, 
take that hammer out. This front bit just pops off, and guess what? Smart AR, gone. And put it back together. Alrighty, so we have both of the wrecked juries with the ARs removed. This one was hidden spicier beforehand. Let's see how they stack up now. There will be two cylinders of used Adventure Force Pro Darts. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, my chronograph is not liking these. Get back a little bit. 174. 134, 153, 160, 117, 140, well, I want to thank you for bringing your toys along and saving me a hundred dollars and still giving me the experience with these things because they're absolutely, at least if anything beyond all else, fun. Mm, they're plinkers. <laughs> That's all I've got for you. I'm Walcoma7. Thank you very much for showing up, Luchathor. It's always a pleasure to have you. Chances are, if you got to the end of the video, you like what I do here. So please hit like, get subscribed, ring the bell, do all that algorithmic garbage to help the channel grow so you can help the hobby grow. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different video. You gotta up, up, up.